If you check out a bunch of my recent videos, you'll know that I've been going back and picking up older Nike SB Dunks from back in the day. Despite all those nostalgic pickups, I've had my eye on a few recent SB Dunks and was finally able to cross one off the list. And the end result is this pair of the Dunk High dubbed as the Oski, or Sharks, and were part of Nike SB's Orange Label Collection. The Orange Label Collection is Nike SB's seasonal drop of footwear, with the difference from regular GRs being that these utilize higher quality materials, special packaging, and are only sold at specialty skate shops. Part of that collection was the release of this pair of the Dunk Highs, and they're quite different from any other Dunk we've seen in recent years. Nike teamed up with SB rider Oscar Rosenberg, better known as Oski, and the shoe takes inspiration from his tie to the shark animal. According to an article on Nike's website, Oski references the shark to be brutal and skillful when maneuvering through water, and the animal overall represents the ability to master any skill, as we've seen him master the art of skateboarding. That said, this shark is fixated in a way that it resembles a Nike swoosh. It's essentially just a black and white shark patch stitched onto the mid panels of the sneaker. Something interesting I like about the implementation is the clean look towards the heel, as the shark patch doesn't go all the way up to the heel that you'd expect with a Nike swoosh on a dunk high. Along with that is a small hit of red at the teeth, which complements the small accent colors of red found at the lace tips of the black set of laces, as well as the tongue tag, and the hit at the middle of the outsole. Aside from the polarizing shark swoosh, the rest of the upper is pretty simple. Throughout the sneakers is this black tumbled leather that has a real smooth and soft feel. The feel is very reminiscent of a plush suede, and at first I even thought it was, but the internet says otherwise. In any case, I'm never really blown away by SB materials, especially on recent pairs, but these are very well done. Contrasting that matte black color is Nike's sail color at the midsole and outsole combo, as well as the extra set of laces. I like the pop of contrast that the whiter laces add, so I'll probably roll with these for now, at least in the summertime. The insole graphic is a stark contrast, with the footbed entirely being covered in this shark print. It's just one of those nice touches that can't be seen externally. Otherwise, it's just a standard Nike SB Dunk insole utilizing the Zoom Air technology, which is certainly a comfortable wear. If you've seen my other Dunk reviews, I've mentioned that I always am between a 9.5 and, and a 10. In this case, I got these in a 10 and found they fit just fine. I could have gone to my true size of 9.5 in these and think it would have been fine too, as these have super soft and pliable materials. Overall, I like how plain and simple these are, with the real spark of flashiness coming from the shark swoosh. When you do something polarizing and add a shark to the side of the sneaker, doing anything else beyond that would have been overkill. And in my opinion, anytime a collaborator retools or alters the iconic Nike swoosh, it seems the sneaker just becomes that much more collectible. We've seen it firsthand through the various Travis Scott collab Nikes and Jordans, and I'm not saying that this pair of dunks is on the same level as those, say, Travis Jordan ones, I just think there's a commonality between the two, which is the element of collectability. Resale prices on these shark dunks are starting to trickle up. If you're interested in grabbing a pair, I'd say it's best to bite the bullet now while prices are in the $200 range before they get up even higher. But for being a cool collab sneaker, there isn't a whole lot else to say about this pair, so I'll leave it at that. Let me know what you guys think of this pair of the Oski Dunks. Do you like the shark swooshes? Is this a pair worth picking up for you? I'd love to read about it in the comments. If you like content like this, let me know by dropping a like and subscribing to the channel. I make videos like this one for fun, and it's great to see the channel continue to grow. I also like taking pictures here and there, so if you want to see more of that, be sure to follow me on Instagram at StuffDonLikes. That's all I have for this one though. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.